everybody. Welcome back. This is Tinker77. We are back on Tinker World. Today we are going to work on an iron farm. One of the things that I need usually right away is iron because I make a lot of hoppers for all the various redstone contraptions. And now that we have the villager breeder that you can see over there, I'm going to make the iron farm right on this little island where I'm standing. The idea being that uh, this is more than 64 blocks away, so this should be able to create another little village. And we'll have it right here. It should still be in range of my other areas that I go stand by. So we should be loaded all the time. So that's the, the key here. I want to do the iron farm right in this location. So we have to go and get some materials for that. So we're going to go back to base and, and do some of that. So while I'm doing that, I want to say thank you for uh, joining me on this video. If you're liking this uh, series of Tinker World, which is vanilla 1.12, please hit that like button. It's a thumb up, thumbs up button. You see it right below the video. Just go ahead and hit it. I'll give you a second. It's really easy to do. It helps me out. It tells YouTube that I, people are liking the videos, which means it uh, has a chance of recommending this video to other people and that sort of thing. You know, trying to get some exposure. So anyway, what do we need to do for this? Well, I did a tutorial earlier, and I'll put a link to that in the description. But I did a tutorial on a iron farm for 1.11, and it should still work for this. So what we need to do is we need to get some of the materials and we're going to do that right now. I did a little organization of my storage here. I also created a really interesting looking trash can, so I put anything I don't want up in there. Down here is a little thing of loot heads. So anyway, uh, what I need to get first of all, I'm going to need some signs. We're going to need a little more signs. We are going to need more. I need to get some chests. Let's just get some wood. We'll take a crafting table with us. Okay, here, let's get all this in the wood. We just be done with it. Okay. I'm going to need at least a couple of chests. Let's see. We're going to need more than that. We're going to need another 10 just for uh, for all the hoppers. Okay. So then we have all that. Let's go get some iron here. Okay. Let's make some hoppers. We need, uh, I believe, 10 hoppers the way I'm doing it. 10. There we go. And we have two extra chests. This is the output chest. I want to have two more chests for just storage over there where we are uh, working. Okay. We're going to need a lot of glass. So we've got a stack of glass. That's good. We're going to need some signs, I said. So let's see here. Signs. we got five of those. Do we have any sticks? I don't want to remake sticks if they have a lot. We don't have a lot, but that should work. So let's see. We have signs. We're going to need at least nine signs. Excellent. Okay, now we are going to need to go get some lava. So let's get the buckets for the lava. We gotta get two buckets worth of lava. Okay, and that's just getting set up for the, the base. Okay, so let me go down to the mine. We'll look around, we'll find some lava. Now you've got me, I'm down in the mine. You know what, I think I should do a mining session while I'm down here. So let's get some resources. I started to mine in this direction when I was on a stream. I'm going to continue this direction. So, I have the lava buckets that I can, they're empty right now, but they'll fully fill with lava. And we don't have any other resources. So why don't you let me know in the comments what you think I'll get of the precious metals and that sort of thing. So I'm going to start to mine, and we'll see how it goes. One hour. Not a bad run. Let's see what I have here. I've got a stack and a half of lapis, a little bit of gold, about a half a stack of iron, uh, four and a half stacks of redstone, two and uh, what a quarter stacks of, of uh, coal, but I got 40 diamonds, which is really, really, really good. So we're going to put this all away and then we're going to start building that uh, iron farm. I'm hearing all these noises, monsters behind those doors. Ugh, scary. But yeah, let's get this all put away. Okay, here we go. We're going to start the first part of this really quick. This is the output chest for the iron farm. Now, 
pick up the hoppers that I just happened to throw out. Okay, we're going to have a line going into that, okay? And then put three more back. I'm just going into tutorial mode. Don't mean to do that. Basically, I'm creating the catch basin for the uh, drops that happen, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to close that into some glass, like so. Okay, it's pretty basic. It's very basic, actually. Very similar. I'm doing the same thing that I did in my tutorial. Okay, so we have that. That's good. It's going to get dark. Let's see if the other player that's online will uh, sleep. Now, what you want to do is you want to have signs on here. Just like that. We'll put another set of signs. We're going to have nine signs total. And what this does is it keeps the lava from flowing down. Okay, just like that. Now we're going to add some more glass. Okay, now that's where the lava is going to go. I'm going to wait to put the lava because that's just, you know, dangerous. When you fall down and you hit lava, that's not good. Hey, come on. Okay, let's finish up this glass ring here. Now I know it's getting dark. I should be okay. Monster shouldn't be spawned here. I can kill anything over there. So that's the two where the, the iron golems are going to fall into and going to die. At this level right here, there will be lava. So now on top of that, I'm going to create the basic uh, dimensions that I want, and then I'll do something different here. So there's the ring, a three by three ring that they fall into. Now. From here, if this water is flowing here, it has to be eight long, so we're going to go back eight. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Counting with Tinker. <laughs> Do the same thing on all these sides here. Now that I have this basic framework done, you can see it's here. I got all the dimensions. I think I'm going to uh, get the camera count on, and I'm going to build this basically in a time lapse, make it pretty quick. Well, it's pretty much built. What we have to do now is we have to put the lava in. Let me do that really quick here. So we're going to go up a little bit just so I don't get killed. And on this first block right here, I'm going to put lava right here. And it should spread. I'm going to put glass back. Okay, we're going to do that on the opposite corner as well. I mean, you could get away with that, but see, there's one spot that doesn't have lava, and that's what I'm trying to avoid. So we'll go over here and we'll pillar up. Okay, we're going to get rid of this block right here. And we're going to put the other lava bucket in this corner right there. And there you go. It's all ready to go. All we need to do now is get the villagers into the little cubby holes. If you saw from the time lapse, you go over here, I can show you. 
I made these little cubby holes on the side. And what I have to do is I have to get the villagers from over here. Put I usually put you can get away with three, but I usually put four in each of these on each of these sides. So it's a total of sixteen villagers. Once we get that in, this should be up and functioning. It'll start dropping iron golems down into here, and we will get the uh, iron from them. So let me clean up this little pillar. And next is villager moving time. Alrighty, what I've done is I've created the track, the whole system to get the villagers in. Now I'm on the back side, the far side from the village. Okay. So it's all the way over here, and what we're going to do is going to take the two villages that I already took out, and we're going to put them on this track, and we're going to send them on its way. This is going to be kind of fun. We're going to watch them. We'll see if we can get them in there. Like I said, we have to get four in each one of those cubby holes. So let's just see if I can send these two that we have, and then what I'm going to do is hook the line up directly to the system, and it'll just automatically go. So let's get this guy going here. Okay, he's on the track, kind of. I get him on the other track there. Here we go. There he goes. Okay. Let's get this other piece of track in here. Might as well. So as long as I get on the track, they'll be good to go. Okay, number two. Get on the track. There we go. Okay. Let's go chase him down. We're going to see what we have here. They're a lot faster than me. <laughs> so as long as we get all of four villagers in each one of those cubby holes, then this farm should start generating iron golems, which will fall down into the hole and get cooked. Ooh, about fell off there. Okay, so here we go. Ready? Got the cart. He goes down in here. That's one. That's two. Okay. So then I should be able to just click the button twice and it should automatically send the others. Let's go do that real quick here. I know it's a little bit uh, boring in the middle here, but this is kind of fun too. It's a little bit longer clip. So we're going to go, we're just going to push the button. It should just, dis dis excuse me, dispatch automatically and go right into the, the line here. So make sure we have minecarts in here. Okay, let's do that. Ready? There goes one. And there goes one. Okay. So yeah, that worked out really well. They go out there. I'm going to go chase them down, put them in the cubby hole, and then set up the next station. The second station is filled. Second cubby, so we're going to close that up. Okay. Now I just got to take down the scaffolding, and I'm going to take down this part of the track. I'm going to reroute around to this side over here. That's the next step, and then we're going to fill in both of these. And then it should be up and running. So let me uh, do some rerouting. The village breeder sure has made this easy, this mechanism. Because I've got the trap hooked right up. I just know I want to send two over to that far station. Click the button twice. There's one. There's two. And there they go. I don't have to worry about it. It just works. It's fantastic. So we'll put these guys in. We're getting there. we got two cubbies to fill. That's a total of eight more villagers so there's two so we have to do six after this but there we go these should be the last two villagers to go in so let's get them in here we go let's do another one okay last two villagers are on their way we'll seal it up this farm actually technically should be running right now but with these two villagers it should be for sure so there goes one sometimes they do bounce back so you might see this green one come back out I've had that happen on occasion doesn't look like it's happening right now that's fine, because they always came back. Oh, he's slightly coming out, but we're going to stop him before he gets there. There we go. Get in there. Okay. Get off there, you two. Get in the hole. And there we go. All right. Now I just clear this out. We'll cap it. Where are they? There they are, the stone slabs. And so technically, this farm is now completely up and running. I'm going to clean up a little bit more of this track, and we'll go down and see if we can see any iron golems spawning. So, yeah, it's not bad. I'm going to clean up to this point right here. I have some other ideas I want to do with this track. Okay, so I'm going to go clean up to this point. So while we're waiting, we'll see what happens here.
Nothing yet. <laughs> sometimes you'll see them right away, sometimes not. Okay. No iron golems? Well, I don't know yet. We'll see. I should be spawning any time. I'm going to clean up these two little pillars, and then I'm going to go down there, and we can see if we can see anything uh, falling into the killing pit. And there we have our first golem. He falls in the lava, and he dies. And the drops go in the hoppers. And it comes out here, and we got four iron from that. So this system is working. It's a little slow. Single village iron farm is always slow. But we will have a constant supply of iron from now on. Isn't that fantastic? That is just so, so cool. One of the last things I want to do for today's video is I want to get back to spawn. If anybody does go to fight the end dragon, the uh, elytra that drops will drop through the portal and end up at spawn and it will despawn before they have a chance to get there. So what I need to do it's put down some hoppers and a chest, which will catch the items and put them into a chest. So I've got four hoppers and a chest. I've got a compass so we can find the actual point, the spawn location. The other thing I'm going to do is, is I brought a saddle because over that way are horses. And I would like to get a horse while I'm over there. Might as well. So I've set up a little pen for horses. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the compass first and do the work. And then we'll find a horse. So... If you ever use the compass, basically it points directly to the center point of spawn. Okay, it's not always zero, zero, but it points to where you have to go. See, if I turn this way, you can see the red needle points a different direction. So you just find it until you find where it flips, and when it flips, that's where you're at. You can figure out the right location. So I'm going to go that way, and I'll show you when I get there. On my way to spawn, I found some horses. So I guess you try to get onto it until they buck you off and you see hearts once you're on it. See, it keeps on bucking me off. So I'm going to try to tame this guy. Hopefully he won't get hurt falling down so much. We're almost there, I think. Nope. Just got to keep doing this until eventually he doesn't buck you off. I'm trying, I'm trying. I've never really done this. I guess it doesn't help he's sitting right here, but... Ow. Okay, come on. I saw some, I thought. Does that mean I can put a saddle on them? Nope. We're almost there. Ah, I don't I've never done this. Am I doing this right, people? Let me get some food here. I think I'm doing this right. There we go. Okay. Now I should have put a saddle on him, right? Okay, I can open him up, and there's a saddle. Excellent. There we go. We have our horse. Now it'll be taking a lot less time to get back to spawn, which is that direction. Wow, I don't think I've ever really had a horse. So, this is fun. Okay, well, when I get to spawn, I'll show you. If you're watching the compass, it says that it's straight ahead. But if we keep going straight, I'm going to size that a little bit. You notice the needle turns. See how it turned really sharply? That means that right around, we're very close to where the point is. Okay, so let me get off the horse here, and we'll figure this out. Okay, and then let's get my hoppers, or my chest ready and hoppers ready put this stuff down okay buddy so we go this direction we're going this direction you see it says go that direction it points right to a corner okay so it's right here I think this corner right here so if I go if I go one step forward it's gonna be behind me right so this point right here these four squares so this is one square right here Really? I must have spawn protection on, I think. 
So I'm going to have to try to fix that. But basically right here where I'm standing, these two squares here and those two in the water are where you can, uh, is the spawn thing. Let me go fix the spawn protection and then I'll show you how this is. Okay. Just for the split second, I gave myself op ability so that I can uh, work with this system. Okay. So I'm going to put the chest right here. Okay. That's the chest. That's where the items will go to. Okay. So what we want to have is hopper going into that chest. Okay. Hopper going to that hopper. Now I need to fill in those two blocks at least with some other materials. So let's pick some of the sand here. Okay. That way we have some things and we can put it down. Okay. And then we gotta make two hoppers going into it. So all these hoppers will feed into this chest. So now if you look, if I stand here, look at the compass, it basically points right towards that corner. If I stand here, it points to that corner. Again, pointing to the corner, finally pointing to the corner, which means we found the four squares that are around that particular point. So what happens is if the elytra drops when fighting the end dragon, and what will happen is the items will fall into the portal, and they, they automatically just appear right at this location, right at that square or that little dot, okay, that intersection of squares. And so it will appear, it will fall down into the hoppers and be here for someone to pick up. So I'm going to put up a little sign, and I'm going to just let people know what this is. Oops, got rid of my compass. Um, Elytra drop location. There we go. Now I'm going to deop myself. There we go. So I can, I'm not an op, and I don't want to be an op because I don't want to have the abilities to uh, do stuff. Let's get back to base with the horse. He's running away here. Let's get back to base. On my way back to base, looks like I've come across Z Klein's homestead. I'll show this off really quick while I'm here. Might as well. He's built a pretty nice looking house. Two floors. Looks pretty cool. Nice little uh, walkway down to the water. Looks really nice. Decent looking house. You know, nice architecture and things going on with it. And it's also back here, he's created his farm. He's got a little like, stabling area for his horses. It was a decent sized farm for the various uh, crops, wheat and carrots and pumpkins and that sort of thing. And then over here, he's created a barn. And inside he's got sheep and outside he's got some cows and pigs. Pretty cool, nice job, Zeke Kleins, very nice. Thought I'd show that off while we're uh, on our way back to base. Approaching the base, looks it's a little hard to navigate with these trees, just the way they are, but we'll get there. We're gonna go ahead and park them in his little pen, which is right here. Excellent. And there's our horse, we're back at base. Very, very fine. Okay, so today we have now the iron farm working. We have this line here, I'm going to leave it there because I have some other ideas I'm going to use over there and I need villagers. So I'm just going to leave it in place. That's for next time. Everything's looking really great. Uh, this has been a fun episode. We've got some more of our infrastructure set up. So hopefully we'll uh, get some good iron com coming up soon and uh, be able to do a lot of neat projects. Got to have the iron, especially for the uh, hoppers. So anyway, that's all that I have time for today for this video. So uh, I think I'm going to end it here. If you like this video, please click that like button. It really only takes a second and it's very helpful. It's probably the most helpful thing you can do. If you have any comments, please put them in the comment section. I read those. I respond to them. I try to respond to them at least daily. And then if you'd like to uh, subscribe to this channel, please do so. Don't forget to hit the little bell icon so you get all the notifications. Again, I am Tinker77. Thank you for joining me. Have a great day. Bye-bye.